we reached out to quarters about oh are they renovating um what can we do what kind of information do they have for us and they just basically told us that you'll know when it's time Renovations began in 2020, but communication between residents and management broke down during the winter storm. Jennifer Tran was supposed to receive five days notice before she needed to vacate her unit, but she only received a two-day notice to move out. She was not informed of the planned renovations when she signed her lease. We can even focus on anything that we needed to do at school because we had to basically pack up all our stuff and be ready to move. A quarters representative declined to appear in an on-camera interview, but said that residents are welcome to contact the leasing office if they have any concerns. Resident Ashley Osborne says this is not the first time the quarters complexes have fallen short when it comes to renovations. When they signed their lease in the spring of 2020, she and her roommate were promised new amenities like a coffee bar and gym, but they were finished months behind schedule and are still inaccessible. They had no idea, no estimate, when they said that they may be finished around mid-November. It was not, not true. They just finished in its March. Residents were given the option of staying in a newly renovated unit or in a hotel expenses paid. Jennifer Tran opted for the renovated unit. So we were able to get a two bedroom, two bath at the same rate of our one bed, one bath. In Austin with Reporting Texas TV, this is Bryn Hersfeld.